Kahoot.com is a digital assessment tool that is fun, interactive, and gives our students immediate feedback. And ultimately, it's free. To create your own um, Kahoot account, you click on here. If you already have a Kahoot account, you sign in right next to it. Or if you're still curious on what Kahoot is all about, you click on how it works, and it takes you on a journey and, and um, gives you a bit more information. I'm going to sign into my own Kahoot account. My students love Kahoot, and I do apologize in advance if my son comes into the camera. So here, top left-hand corner is new Kahoot. This lets you um, create your own game. My Kahoots are games that you've already created. Find Kahoots, if I click on this, these are Kahoots that are already um, created by other educators. Um, sometimes if you're on a pinch or you don't have time to create your own Kahoot, um, you can search to see if your topic is here. Uh, if I go back to the previous page, Mm -hmm. um, this is what comes up. Um, so over the last year, year and a half, Kahoot has add, um, added different aspects to the digital tool. You can still do your basic quiz, a jumble, much like a puzzle, discussions um, to facilitate um, debates, etc., and surveys. I usually use surveys in my math trans. Right now, I will take you into Kahoot that I have created. Um, so over the years, I haven't really used Kahoot um, initially that much, but the last couple of years, I've, it's really taken off. Um, so these are some of the Kahoots that I've created. Right now, I'll quickly go through and um, give you a bit of a tutorial on how to create your own Kahoot. So I'm just going to do a quiz. And here you can add a title. So the title to my quiz, um, will be digital assessment tools. Um, you can do everyone, you can do the type of um, uh, audience you're going to um, target and then you click OK and go. Oh, a description. Um, various assessment for educators. Okay, you can add pictures to these, but I'm not going to do that right now. So game creator, you can add a question. So um, Kahoot is what? What could Kahoot be? It could be fun. It could be boring. It could be free. It could be sorry, fun and interactive, boring or free or answer for. Could be answer one and three. Then I would click next. You would also need to click on what the correct answer is, and once you do that on the check mark, it turns green, and that um, symbolizes the correct answer. I'll do two questions to this one. Um, the second piece to this um, question would be um, Kahoot can only be played by intermediate student. Answer true, answer false. So in this question I only have two answers. Obviously it's false. You can have more than one. Um, all ages can play this. Sorry I can't see that screen. Click next. And there we go. So I'm going to end this um, Kahoot there, and then we can go in and play it. So if you go onto your mobile device, whether it's your iPhone, your Android, your Sam, whatever it is, iPad, um, Stream, 
go into Google and type in kahoot.in. Um, if you go on my iPhone, I have it up on my screen, and on the top you actually can get the Kahoot app, which is super cool. So I'm going to hit play, and a game pin has, they've asked for a game pin on my phone. Now in this, you can have it in two, you can either play it in either mode. You can do a one-to-one -one device, so one device per student, or you can do it in team um, format. I'm going to click on classic, and I'm waiting for a pin to pop up so that I can join in this, on this game. So we got a six-digit pin, so it's 529, 200, and here we go. It's also now asked me for a nickname, and I just typed in Super Grover, and I am going to click Start. So right now, I have four shapes that are going to show up on my screen that coincide with um, the answers on the bottom of my uh, question. So what is Kahoot? Kahoot is fun and interactive, boring, free, or in this case, answer one and three. So I'm going to click on the square. Okay, that was the right answer. If students tend to get the wrong answer, it'll show what shape they picked. Um, so I'm going to click next. It's giving me a point value. Kahoot can only be played by intermediate students. True or false? In this case, it would be false. I'm going to click on the rhombus, and it gives me the immediate feedback that I got it correct. Then I'm going to click Next. And what's nice about this is it gives you a podium of standing. So if, more, if you're doing um, the one-to-one -one device, even in the team, uh, format it'll give you um, it'll do like a podium standing so like gold silver bronze how many students got gold how many students got silver how many students got bronze and the best thing about that is it gives you valuable information on where your students are at so that is that if we go in back into our cahoots um, there's different, I have already created different Kahoots. And what's nice about this is if you click on the title and you obviously you're going to post questions that you've discussed at length in your classroom, you can show your answers here. So when you use a fixed pulley, the pulley is attached to, and here are my answers, they needed to pick one. You'll notice now down on the right hand side of my screen, you can see how many seconds I've allotted per question and how many choices. Some of these choices, I'm not sure if I've done it in this one, I have. I've only given three choices. Sometimes I've only given two, sometimes I've done all four, doesn't matter. Primarily how I became familiar with Kahoot was just simply by playing around with it. And once I was comfortable in creating my own Kahoot, my students really were saw the value in what Kahoot had to offer. And the more and more we played Kahoot, um, particularly in one subject area, the information that they took from it or that they they got from my lessons, they noticed were actually in Kahoot. So it was it's great. Um, I love using this tool. And I hope you end up finding value in how beneficial this tool can be.